How exactly does cancer spread? My name is Gian Del Vecchio, and while there's still a lot about that question that remains unanswered, today I'm going to be talking to you about the epithelial mesenchymal transition, or EMT, and metastasis. In metastasis, cancer cells from primary tumors break away, travel through the circulatory system, and form new tumors in other parts of the body. Metastatic disease is responsible for over 90% of cancer deaths as the subsequent tumors take over surrounding tissue. These invasive cells that migrate and invade are not normal epithelial cells, but mesenchymal cells that underwent the EMT. Normal epithelial cells are said to be polar, meaning they have strict membrane domains, but due to oncogenic pathways mediated by growth factors, undergo EMT. When a cell undergoes EMT, it becomes more elongated, a morphology more conducive to movement and metastasis. Normal cells are attached to the epithelium by E. cadherin, a cell adhesion protein present in membranes. E. cadherin inhibits invasion and metastasis, but during EMT, E. cadherin is downregulated, allowing the cell to detach from the surrounding cells and migrate. The decrease in E. cadherin is also associated with an increase in N. cadherin, a protein that in epithelial cells induces changes in morphology to a fibroblastic phenotype, rendering the cells more mobile and invasive. Along with this extended morphology, cells undergo actin reorganization. Normal actin fibers form an organized cytoskeleton, but the actin reorganizes in mesenchymal cells to form stress fibers. These actin stress fibers help form the millipodia, filipodia, and invadipodia, actin-based protrusions that help the cell to migrate and invade. The millipodia are fan-like structures that help the cell move. Filipodia are spiky structures that allow the cancer cell to sense the surrounding environment and mediate cell-to-cell -cell interactions, and invadipodia are subnuclear protrusions that release proteases that allow the cell to invade successfully by degrading the extracellular matrix. When the migrating cells enter the circulatory system, platelets bind to them, disguising the cancer cells from the immune system. This allows the cells to move through the bloodstream undetected, eventually settling in secondary tumor sites. These cells can remain dormant and undetected in these microenvironments for up to 10 years before growing and invading once more. However, sometimes cells undergo the MET, mesenchymal epithelial transition, and revert back to their normal epithelial phenotypes. This is thought to occur during the colonization of secondary tumor cells in their new locations, as these cells exhibit many similarities to the primary tumor cells. While the migrating cells themselves may be mesenchymal, it is possible that to successfully colonize secondary tumor sites, the cells must have an epithelial phenotype. While there is still a lot about metastasis yet to be discovered, we know that EMT is integral in metastasis and can potentially be targeted as a novel treatment for metastatic disease. Thank you.